Hello everyone, Johnny here. In our previous tutorial, we have seen class components and functional components. In our present session, we will understand about states. Before understanding about the state, let us have a basic introduction about it. See, every component returns a JSX, that is JavaScript XML, that describes the user interface as we have seen in the elements and components. Now let us have a brief comparison between this props and states. In our previous session we have discussed about props. These are passed to the components. These have a function parameters. These are immutable. It means we cannot change. Uh, props can be used in functional components as well as class components. In function components we use a keyword props whereas for the class components we use this dot props. In the same way state is state is used to track the changes of a component over a particular duration of time. Let us see this small example when you are trying to uh, take a piece of ice and we are trying to increase the pressure of it or the temperature of it so it will try to change from liquid to that is it will try to change to liquid state from ice so in this example as you have seen that is it will it trying to change from one state to other state in the same way state is also managed within a component variables declared in the function body states can be changed in functional components we use use state whereas for the class components we use this dot state so as we have discussed stateless components and stateful components that are functional components and class components so before looking into this example let us go into the editor and we can understand how the states can be used in the react application let me go into the editor so we have an editor here sublime text and I made everything ready like I have started this, uh, this server like cd current folder d drive and I am trying to write localhost 3000 so I am trying to open the output in the browser now let me write take a new file control n in this session we will try to lo uh, look, look an example I am trying to take the file name as logdown.js now in this um, what I am trying to do is that I am trying to take a button when I trying to click on that button it will try to change the message so for that I am trying to do this example so first in order to uh, take a, as we have saved the file logdown.js first we will be importing the package react next in this I am trying to write the class component in this I am trying to write the class component the component name is lockdown we should able to extend it for the class components we extend this in order to get all the functionalities of the react component and we have render render here and we are trying to return some small example like I want to return first one I want to return a basic example now like I am trying to write lockdown period lockdown period so I am trying to write in this way so in this uh, uh, I am trying to take a small line which returns lockdown period so for this if we have uh, multiple lines we need to uh, take this parenthesis as well as a div statement for the multiple lines now if I want to import it for example if I want to import it what is the thing I can write we will be using export default we can write any name here I am trying to write logdown logged it is not recommended to use the same class name we can use any of the file name. I am trying to use this one 
here so I'm trying to write logged on so I'm trying to display this in the root container so I should be able to import it so in order to import I'm trying to write logged on from what is this file name logged on yes done now let us check into s we don't have any errors in this yes we got a message now so in this way I'm first I'm trying to display a message so in order to display a message I have used some JSX and I'm trying to place display the same in a uh, root container I'm trying to take a, a react dom dot render function where it takes first one element and uh, where it need to display it now in this if you can see we are getting the output now but let us use some states now state now so in order to use this thing what I'm trying to do is that I'm trying to create a constructor in this I'm trying to create a constructor followed by super method which is used to uh, call the base class constructor for example uh, let me call this thing in if you look into this part I'm trying to write a constructor here in this constructor I'm trying to call super super method this is used to call the base class constructor now in this I should able to create some object in this I should able to create some object so for this I'm trying to write this dot state this dot state so for this this dot state it will try to accept the values that is property and a value so now if you can see state is a reserved word here state is an reserved word which will be accepting some message so I'm trying to write here I'm trying to write some message like mm, I'm trying to write some message like this lockdown I'm trying to write some message here now in this first we have written some constructor here and a super and we are trying to retrieve it so let me check there is no change in the output like we have just created an, ob created an object here and we are, we are trying to print some value now in this I am trying to use a next step in this next step I am trying to bind the state value in the render function I am trying to bind the state value in a render function it means in this render function that is in the line number 12 to 14 I am trying to create some small button or I will try to print the message what we have done here so here instead of this lockdown I am trying to write uh, this dot message yes this dot message so for this state we will be writing this dot state here this dot state dot message so usually we will not get any output sorry for this uh, we will not get any output for this snippet you will get the same thing because it will assume this as a text it will assume this as a text so in order to make sure it would should not assume this as a text we will be using this thing what we call we call this as a props so automatically we will be getting the same message so it is trying to display here so it is trying to display here so this dot state dot message now you can see here for the props we will be using two curly braces followed by the property name in the same way for state we will be using some other one more keyword that is state here that's all so now uh, in this we we shall create a button we will create a button here and we will try to use in this JSX notation so let me create some button here so if I am trying to use multiple lines if I am trying to use multiple lines we use div here so as the uh, if you are trying to use multiple lines it should be wrapped inside div in JSX notation so I'm trying to wrap it in div so in this I'm trying to take a button I'm trying to take a button I'm trying to write here check status check status so in this I'm, I'm trying to take a button now let us see the output of the snippet yes we got logged on period and check status button now if we can see we got some text message as well as some button now for example if I want to make sure based upon the button click it should able to change some message 
as in JavaScript we have something called events like on click in the same way here also we are trying to use on click attribute for this button followed by arrow function which handles this event so let me write this example now so in this I'm trying to write on click on click equals to here I'm trying to write something like I'm trying to write this thing so I'm trying to write this arrow function in this arrow function I'm trying to write this, this dot change change status I'm trying I'm trying to write this dot change status can you see something Yes, it will be visible now control s so in this I'm trying to pass an attribute for the button followed by arrow function the syntax and followed by you uh, we are assigning some event handler here we are trying to assign some event handler now if I want to define this I want I should able to define this chain status so I'm trying to define between this constructor and render so I'm trying to write chain status I should able to print some value based upon the button click initial it is locked on period now if I want to change this we will be using the state again this dot sorry this dot set state this dot set state as I told you we will be using this dot set state here for class components in this I am trying to write the message what is the message I want to write thank you stay home stay safe lockdown closed I'm trying to write this message so when user clicks on the this button that is from the line number 12 it will be uh, it should be able to print this thing so let us check the snippet whether it is working fine or not so let me check the output of this snippet let me see this file yes it is done yes we got it so this is how we will be working on the state so this is a simple example for this session in the later sessions also like in upcoming sessions we will try to do a small basic project on this like demo project based on the concepts we have covered like elements co cl class component function component and the states so that we will can un understand how it can be used so this is how we can define a small state so if we can uh, assume like if you can conclude this we can say this state is a object privately maintained by a component that is state can be changed within the component so here we are trying to use we are trying to call here we have imported it and we are trying to use it so whenever you are trying to click on this uh, we are trying to get the same output so we have any issue warnings no so let us look into the presentation part so that we can conclude this session for today so this is how we have started with state states are used to track the change I between in a components like props states are mutable it means we can change one state to other state these are the core components of a react application let me check into this example so that we can understand in this what we are trying to do we are trying to uh, print my car so in this the brand is Ford so in this we have t we are trying to initialize with a constructor first as we have done the message there like lockdown period in the same way there it was message and the lockdown period here it is brand and Ford in order to refer a state object we write this dot state dot property name in the same way we have written an example as this dot state dot message so if you can see in this example it is in the single page so you can see this dot state it has three like property value property value property value Ford Mustang red and 1964 and we are trying to render it if you can see this dot state dot brand it will try to return Ford this dot state dot color it will try to return this one so based upon this value and it will try to render between using this car component within the root container 
now if i can see in the next slide let us look into the next slide so this is how we have done with the class uh, that is the states in a react application if you have any queries any issues in this developing this react apps you can just comment below this video or you can drop us a mail thank you